With a price tag of around 1,250 quid, the catchily titled MSI GL659SD sits down around the entry level area of the game and laptop market. And though for that price, you still get one of Nvidia's Turin architecture GPUs, you get a 120 hertz display, and you get some pretty beefy specs overall. Plus, it's got a light up dragon slap there on the lid. What's not to like? Of course, it is quite tricky to grab gamers' attention with a budget level game and laptop these days, as there are lots of really great ones already out there from the likes of Acer such as the Predator Helios 300. So is this MSI machine enough of a beefcake to beat off rivals? Well, I've been casually wasting my precious finite time on Earth by gaming on it for the past week or so, and here's my full MSI GL65 review. Now first up, even though it's a 15.6 inch and not some behemoth 17 or 18 inch laptop, it's not exactly super portable. I mean, sure you can easily carry it about if you like, but it is a bit of a wide boy, so you will need some serious rucksack action. Not that you're likely to be carrying it much further than your bedroom or the kitchen in this plague infested era. Well, thankfully the MSI GL65 seems well constructed. There are certainly no weak points that I can spot. The lid itself flexes only a little bit just to absorb impact, otherwise protects that display rather nicely. And MSI hasn't gone over the top the design either, those glow and fictional beasties aside. Sure you've got the standard huge vents around the engine, but those are kind of necessary to keep that pesky hot air gushing out. And besides that, the GL65 simply has a plain black frame with little really in the way to speak of as far as flare goes. And thankfully it's pretty restrained when it starts up as well, it doesn't roar at you or gurgle or do any weird stuff. And as far as the connectivity goes, there's a pretty respectable selection of ports on there as well. So for instance, you've got HDMI and mini display port for hooking up dual 4K displays. You've also got an Ethernet connection of course for your networking, you've got a single Type-C USB 3.2 port and three Type-A 3.2 ports as well for slapping in all of your peripherals. And you even get a bit of SD card reader action, lovely stuff. Now of course some people swear by a fully customizable RGB keyboard on their game and laptops. It's particularly good if you want to turn your machine into a portable mini disco. And you can get individual key customization here on the MSI GL65, but you will have to stump up a bit of extra cash for that feature. This base model that I reviewed has just one color of backlighting instead, and that is red. If you don't like reds, well you're shit out of luck. And it is a pretty harsh red as well, the kind of hue that conjures up images of filthy Amsterdam back streets, dead-eyed hookers, things like that. And the keyboard itself is no great shakes either. MSI has managed to cram quite a lot into this board, considering it didn't exactly have a huge amount of space to work with, but that is kind of the problem, everything just feels a little bit cramped. The keys do feel rather dinky, but despite that, the numeric pad is still crushed up to the rest of the board, while there's no gaps at all to separate the arrow keys out, which means you have to glance down and stare at the buggers to actually locate them. And the whole setup feels a bit spongy too, which is something that you find quite often on budget gaming laptops. You don't get that satisfying click clack of an expensive mechanical keyboard. And of course you've got a perfectly acceptable touchpad in there as well, though it's shunted off to the left side of the palm rest, which is definitely a ball lick if you're right handed. So definitely get yourself a mouse stuck in there. Now the MSI GL65 rocks a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS display, and it certainly serves up some good looking visuals. Those decaying reanimated corpses have never looked so lush. You've got a buttery smooth 120 hertz refresh fresh rate on here so the laptop is definitely a match for the latest action games, especially as that performance delivers a matching frame rate, more on that in a bit. Unfortunately it's not quite one of the best gaming laptop displays at this sort of price point. So when I tested out the display using the Datacolor Spider X Pro, I found that the colour reproduction really lags behind rivals from Acer and Dell, hitting just 60% of the sRGB gamut and a measly 45% of the Adobe RGB. Plus the brightness maxes out at just 310 nits as well, which is absolutely fine when you're using the GL65 indoors, but don't even think about taking it outside unless you're sat in some serious shade or it's the middle of the night. And unfortunately the 2 watt stereo speakers slapped on the bottom end pack about as much power as a hedgehog's fart. Even if you boost them all the way up to max, you won't exactly be blown away by the sounds of gunfire and rocket explosions, so you'll definitely want to slap in a headset. So now let's check out the bit that really matters. Can the MSI GL65 match or beat other budget gaming laptops as far as performance goes? Well the GL65 9SD packs in a 9th generation Intel Core i7 chipset. This review model here used the 9750H backed by 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Meanwhile the graphics are handled by Nvidia's GeForce GTX 1660 Ti GPU with 6GB of GDDR6 memory. Take a deep breath and relax. 
<sighs> so unfortunately, yeah, that means no fancy pan stuff like ray tracing support here on the MSI GL65. If you're gonna want something like that, you'll have to bump up your budget a bit, get something like the Acer Predator Triton 500 instead. But to be fair, ray tracing still ain't the most widely supported of features anyway. Now your performance customization options are pretty basic, but again, this will just suit anyone looking to get into gaming without any of that hassle of overclocking or anything else. Just dive into the MSI's Dragon Center app and slap on the turbo option when you're about to smash your way through the latest game and you're basically set. With turbo mode active, the GL65 averaged around 90 frames per second on titles like Zombie Army 4 on that ultra detail setting. Drop the graphic settings to medium and you'll more or less match the 120Hz refresh rate of the display. I got an average benchmark score of around 110 to 115. As for Resident Evil 2, that again played with a nice smooth dependable frame rate even though I boosted up the graphics from the recommended settings to something closer to the max. If you're a bit of a benchmarking geek, well great news, here's some more big numbers for you. Geekbench 5 spun out a single core score of 1141 and a multi core score of 5430. And in 3D Mark, the MSI GL65 performed exactly as expected. Expected. Time Spy spun out a score of 57.14, Fire Strike 1.1 came up with 13,433, and Skydiver 1.1 spun out 32.910. As for the cooling setup, well that seemed to work absolutely fine. I didn't notice any undue throstling or anything like that occurring, even after I've been gaming for an hour or two. It does get a little bit noisy of course, but then that's pretty standard for a gaming laptop, and it certainly didn't singe my fingertips or anything like that either. As for the battery life, well, yank out the MSI GL65's power cord, and it lasts about as long as a sausage roll in a fat kid lunchbox. Even if it's not really doing anything at all, it'll still tick down at the rate of about 1% per minute. And if you actually deign to play a game on it, well you can expect it to die in around sort of 45 minutes or so. But anyway, just leave that power cord attached at all times because you'll need it to really get the most out of the performance here on this gaming laptop. And rounding off the specs, you've got a 256 gig SSD, not the fastest around, but not awful either, and that's backed by a one terabyte hard drive. And it's Wi-Fi 5 support on here, not the latest Wi-Fi 6, but again, that's not a widely supported feature. Would have been nice for a bit of future proofing though. So that right there is my full review of the MSI GL65 9SD. It's basically aimed at anyone interested in playing the latest games without spending an absolute fortune, and anyone who's not really bothered about full-on customization, overclocking, or fancy features like ray tracing. That said, it's a shame that the GL65 doesn't have a better display and a better keyboard. Would have made it a much easier recommendation, as it is, there are some really strong rivals out there from the likes of Acer and Izu, so I definitely say go check some of those out as possible alternatives. So are you tempted by this MSI laptop, or maybe you've got your own preferred budget gaming notebook? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a lovely week, people. Cheers. Love you.